Okay, let's solve the ministry exam question about the Newton's second law for rotation. The first question is, a force of magnitude 2 Newton is applied tangentially to a disc of mass 5 kilogram and radius 0.1 meters. What is the angular acceleration of the disc? Uh, and here we are going to first draw the uh, diagram. It's a disc. So let's draw a, a disc first. Uh, and the radius of the disc is given. Mass is given, and a force is applied tangentially to a disc, which means we are going to pull this disc up or down like this. So force will be acting tangent. So we know that a tangent line always perpendicular to radius. So disc will start rotating about this point because this force, force produces a torque. So we can calculate how much torque is produced in here. So we have remembered torque, we define torque by two rays. One of them is in chapter two, section one, which is torque is equal to force times distance. Second one in the second law for rotation, torque is equal to I times alpha. Both equations are defined in the same torque in two different ways. One of them is in terms of force and distance, that one is moment of inertia and angular acceleration. So we are going to make them equal. So I times alpha is going to be F times D. And you will continue and you will find what alpha is. Uh, it's a disk, disk has a moment of inertia one over two, one over two MR squared times alpha, F times, in here, distance from force the extra rotation is the radius, R again. This R and the that squared will simplify. So you will get M R alpha is equal to this two cross product to other side is equal to two F. This two goes right there. So divide by M R, divide by M R, you will find what alpha is. Alpha is equal to two F divided by M R according to this one, two times F. F is two Newtons divided by M R. M is five kilograms, R is 0.1. Now let's uh, calculate it. Two times two is four divided by 0.1 multiplied by five, 0.5, which becomes eight. Answer will be eight radian per second squared B is the answer in here. Question number two. A 350 Newton milli go round in the shape of horizontal disc with the radius of 1.5 meter set in rotation by wrapping around, around the rim of the disc and pulling the rope. So how large a torque would uh, have to be exerted to bring the milli go round from rest to angular speed of 3.14 radian per second in two seconds. From rest means initial angular speed is zero. To an angular speed of 3.14 radian per second, it's final angular speed. It's final, it's 3.14 radian per second. Two seconds is delta t. Why are all the, all the argument? We'll find what alpha is. Angular acceleration, because torque can be calculated in here i times alpha. So i, it's a disk. So one over two mr squared, one over two, mr squared alpha can be calculated by final angular speed minus initial angular speed divided by delta t. So then you are going to write all the given into the equation and then you will find how much torque. Okay, let's calculate. One over two m mass multiplied by 350. r squared, r is 1.5, but squared. Multiplied by final angular speed 3.14, initial angular speed zero, divided by time interval t, two seconds. So let's do them all. One over two, which means 0 0.5, multiplied by 350, multiplied by 1.5 squared, multiplied by 3.14, divided by two. 
So it is going to be 62.7. 62.7 uh, Newton meters. It is going to be 62.7 meter. I think there's a calculation mistake. Let's do it again. 1.1 1 .1 over 2, 0.5, multiplied by 350, multiplied by 1.5, squared, multiplied by 3.14, divided by 2, which is equal to 618. So 600 and 618 Newton meter choices B. Question number three, 32 kilogram uniform solid cylinder has a diameter of 0.24 meters. So this is the mass. This is diameter, but diameter is not used in the calculation of one inertia. We use radius. It just must be 0.4 divided by two, which is 0.2 meters. If the cylinder accelerates at 0.025 radian per second squared, so this is alpha, about an axis to its center, how large is the torque acting on the cylinder? This time we are going to do reverse. Again, we will use the Newton's second law for uh, rotational motion, I times alpha. This time alpha is given, we need to write I in, in place and then we will calculate it, one over two. MR squared is the moment of inertia for cylinder multiplied by alpha. One over two mass of the cylinder is 32, reduces 0.2 because diameter is given 0.4 divided by two will be reduced, multiplied by alpha 0.025. So let's multiply them all. 0.5 multiplied by 32, multiplied by 0.2 squared, multiplied by 0.025, which is equal to 0.016. 0.016 Newton meter is the torque, which is A is the choice for a bicycle tire of radius 0.3 so this is r and mass m or 1.5 kilograms start from red so rotating from rest so initial angular speed is zero rest find the torque that required to increase the angular speed of the tire to 100 radian per second this is omega final in two seconds that is delta t so again we are going to use the newton's second law for rotation i alpha because I is give, it's a, a bicycle wheel and its I is given as MR squared. Alpha is, because it's accelerated motion, final angular speed minus initial angular speed divided by delta T is alpha. So insert all the given. Mass is 1.5. R is 0.3, but squared. Bracket. The omega final is 100. Omega initial is zero divided by delta t, which is two. So let's multiply them all. 1.5 multiplied by 0 0.3 squared, multiplied by 100 divided by two. It is 6.75. 6.75 Newton meter is the torque. Yeah, there are two 6.75. B and D. So one of them is the answer. And uh, question five, one of the following is equal to the unit of torque, Newton meter. Uh, we can do it because torque, Newton meter, torque is equal to F times T. So force times force Newton, distance meter, Newton meter. And also torque is equal to I times alpha. So I is moment of inertia, MR squared, kilogram meter squared. Angular acceleration, radian per second squared. Radian is not a unit, remember, it was not, it was no dimension, but divided by second squared. So kilogram meter squared per second squared is the unit of torque. In equation, torque is equal to I times alpha, I represents I moment of inertia. A force of magnitude 4 Newton is tangentially applied to a disc of 0. diameter 0. 0.2 meter. So this is diameter. So radius from diameter, we can get the radius 0. 0.2 divided by 2, 0. 0.1 meters. 
If the angular relaxation of the disk is the rate radian per second square, what is the mass of the disk? So we are going to use torque I times alpha. Uh, torque is equal to, this is a disk. I has, the disk has a moment of relation one over two MR squared multiplied by alpha. You will need the cross product. Cross product two torque is equal to MR squared alpha. So because M is going to be calculated, divide by R, R squared alpha, divide by R squared alpha, simplify R squared alphas. So M is going to be two torque, so two torque, two times torque divided by R squared alpha. Let's do it, two times torque, torque is, and we will calculate it, let's calculate the torque, F times T, uh, because uh, tangentially applied, Force F, force is given for Newton. Distance is radius, which is 0 0.1. So it becomes 0 0.4. Torque becomes 4 times 0 0.1, 0 0.4. Divided by R squared, R is 0 0.1. Squared times alpha is 8. So 2 multiplied by 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.1 squared, divided by 8, 10. 10 kilograms. And this is all about uh, uh, Newton's second law for rotation.